Good evening. This is the last time we're playing the Square It game for this session, this, this group of sessions this weekend. It'll be back. We'll be playing it over the summer. We'll be playing it at plenty of other times. It's a great game. Um, and we're going to play it if you missed the other sessions. We're going to play it now. And to just make a watch party and start playing the game. So <clears throat> if you are finding these lives useful, please do share the group, share the lives themselves with your in your on your profile, on your Facebook profile. And we do have two YouTube channels, Bubbly Maths and Maths Toys. It'd be really great if you can share uh, subscribe to those as well. The, the links are in the announcements, the pinned announcements above. And, oh, watch party, that's it. That's what I wanted to do. Square it, play for fun, think to win. Way. Hey. Square it. Square it. So tonight we're going to play one last time. And just to let you know, tomorrow morning at nine, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing an actual maths of the, um, of the resource. So uh, it looks like Tony's just uploaded a link for you, which would be grand. And what we've got, we're doing is, if you didn't get any of the other sessions, we are just making sure that we can see what I'm doing here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Just looking for Zoom. Because I use Zoom, 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 Zoom. There we go. Ah, that's better. That's much better. And get up closer. Shine the light that way so that you can actually see the sheet. Yay. Okay, so it's the square it game. And the idea is that we're going to make the dots and we're going to find out tomorrow morning, come on the session, we're actually going to do the maths. We've been playing the game over the weekend. We're going to do the maths, but to start off with, if you haven't played before, then what we're going to do is, let's see which way we're gonna point this light so that it's not actually in our eyes as it were. And I'm gonna start with drawing one, can you see that? No, nope. come further down. What can you see there? Put a line along there. Oh, hiding that Put a line along there. Get rid of that. And we're going to make some dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you've got, you can print out the resource. Great. In the resource, there's lots of templates for you to play the game. And there's a, there's a whole separate, if you go to the, the link, which I believe Tony's just put on the, the group, uh, if you go to that link, you can uh, download an actual template of all these dot sizes. So what are these dots for? These dots, it's a, it's a, we call it the square it game. And the idea is we want to, we want to make a square and we take it in turns. So it's a bit of a competition. Let's see what two we're going to use, the green and the red. So red decides, let's see what we're going to do today, see if I can succeed. I actually failed to lose the last couple of times, and so nobody got a square. So let's see if I can manage to succeed in losing this time. Okay, so red is going to go for a square. So there's two different possibilities that I can see right now. There's that little square there and there's this big one here. Well, green's decided, you know what? I'm gonna let red make their square. Let's see what they're gonna do. I'm gonna stop red from getting that square there. They've got to make a decision. And red says, cool, all right, then I'm gonna go for this square here. And green says, yeah, that's okay. I'm actually gonna come over to this one to make sure you can't get one at the bottom there. And red says, this is great. I'm going to go for a square around here. So green says, oh, it's okay, right, that's fine. I'm going to make a square there. And I think we've got an uh, impasse again. Oh, nobody's gonna win. <laughs> and then red's gonna come over here and nobody wins. 
Okay, nobody has managed to make a square. So what we're now going to do is going to make another grid. And let's see if we actually start somewhere different. If one of us can win. Now, part of working this out is, is deciding who can controls the winning. The first person, do you, do you need to be the first person to play, the second person to play? So this time, Green decides, well, it was Green's turn to start. So Green says, well, I'm still going to start there. And Red said, well, that worked for me last time. I'm still going to go out here. Uh, not that one because, well, no, that's all right because I'm going to go around the, around the edges. And, and Green says, well, I'm going to go down here to prevent Red from getting a square there. And Red says, right, well, I'm going to go here to prevent Green from getting a square there. And Green says, well, I'm just going to go here. And Red says, well, I'm going to go here because next go, I'm going to get me a square if Green doesn't notice or doesn't stop me. And Green says, yeah, I, should, I could stop you by going there, but you know what? I'm going to go there. And Red says, ha, you're a silly Billy. Look, I've got me a square. And Green says, stop. And Red says, why should I stop? And Green says, I've made a square. And Red says, no, you haven't. And Green says, oh, yes, I have. And Red says, oh, no, you haven't. And Green says, oh, yes, I have. And so, well, what is, what, what is the case? Has Green made a square? And if they have, where is it? Because it's a well-known fact that squares are horizontal, aren't they? That's what squares do. They sit like that. So they're horizontal to the floor, so they were sitting flat on the floor. And is that a fact? Is that the way it is? Because we're going to have a look, see where greens, can you see where green square is? Because indeed, green does have a square. Can you see where it is? Let's see if anybody said anything. Let's just check over here and move you there so I can click back in. Let's see. Oh, hello, Stephen. Yeah, no, Stephen hasn't said anything. So green square is one, two, three. So just because, let me see if I've got the one from before, just because there it is, just because the square is not horizontal doesn't mean it's not a square. It's just as much a square if we rotate it let's say might be not sure, probably 45 degrees. So you're gonna rotate it by 45 degrees. So it's gonna be that angle and it's perfectly, which is, I've got a few squares on here. Let's see that this one there. And if we rotate that one a little bit, can you see? If I focus, hmm. another one. Draw another one on here. In fact, we won't, we're gonna get another piece of paper. I'm going to be the last of the big spenders. I'm going to get another piece of paper. I'm going to draw a square. Whoops. It's kind of hard to do at this angle. We've got a square there. If we tilt it, it's the same square. It's just tilted. So we're looking for tilted squares with these puzzles just as much as we are looking for, let's say, horizontal squares or vertically aligned squares. Okay, so if or perpendicular to the parallel and perpendicular to the to the, the table. So that's a nice nine by nine. Let's go for the next size up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Who is going to win? Green. Or red? Does one have an advantage over the other? Well, green thought, well, that's a good strategy. I'm going to stick with that strategy. I'm going to see if I can manage to make another square. So green's going to go first. Well, red thought, well, I nearly got that. And I'm sure green can't do that again. So I'm going to stop green there. And green said, well, that's all right. I'm going to come down here. And red's like, hmm, don't really quite get that. I'm going to, well, that, that's not going to work. Well, you know what? I can still 
make it well let me put it one here and that way I've still got other possibilities around here and green goes I'm going to go there not a problem and red goes well where's green going again I can't I must be looking for a diagonal but where not sure well, I'm still going to go here because I've still got a possibility of another small square there. So I'm going to go there. And because no, I can't see where green's going anyway. And green goes, OK, that's fine. I can go there. And red goes yet again, yet again. Hooray, I'm about to get a square. And green goes, stop. You haven't got a square. Well, you can't. You would if you did, but I've already won. So can you see green's square? Can you see it? Start with the first line there. And then we've got another line there. Another line there and one there. Now, with this grid, and we're going to be looking at that tomorrow morning, is what we're really going to be looking for, very seriously looking for, and that is all the different squares. So with the, the original three by three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, we've got some one by one squares. So we've got one, and then, we're, ooh, I'm not sure I like going through these black lines. I think I'm just gonna do the edges like that. So now we've got, that one has one, two, three, four dots. And how many of those have we got? We've got one, two, three, four of those. This is for the three by three. Where's my black? Three by three. Is that a bit better than that? Our three by three has, I don't know if you can see that the right, I'm hoping you see that the right way around. Okay, so we've got four, oopsie, drop me pen. Kind of need my pen to do the job. There we go. So the next one is the one we've already found. How many of the tilted squares are there in this shape here? We know we've got one like that and we've got, I'm gonna draw all the dots in so that we're absolutely clear which tilted square we found. Are there any more tilted squares in this three by three? I can only see one. Now this isn't the absolute ultimate, but I can only see one. This has been systematic going through there is how we're gonna find them. Now, do we have any other squares there? Or have we found all the squares? Any ideas? Any ideas? Let me see if anybody said anything. Hi Noel, hi Salvo, hi Lorraine, how are you? Bit earlier in the day for Lorraine the rest of us were all in the in in the same time zone right let's have a look have we got any other uh, another pet here we go here's another color there's one if we join the dots around the outside so I'm going to draw that here now the challenge is if I now draw the dots, we've got one, two, three. So it's, we're very clear about the size of the square and I can see one of those. So I mean, that's pretty obviously just one of those. So we've got, whoopsie, total of six squares. If I found them all, I would like you to double check on that. But the thing, the next thing to do is look in the four by four, find all the squares in the four by four then have a nice stretch and find all the squares in a five by five and a six by six. Now that's something you can do. This is a separate investigation and it's something you could be looking at and, and, and doing on a regular basis and, and seeing what the patterns are and see if you actually make a nice grid. This is the little tip. If you make a grid, here we go. So we have the shapes. We have all the shapes. You can give them names. So we'll start with the horizontal ones or 
we can do actually we can do it that way that's fine the next size up and then you'd have the next size up of now is that the next size up is there another size so this is basically one across one up this is one across and two up do you, do you think there's another size in between those two on this one I don't think there is. So let's draw that one on there. Draw that one on there. That's. Oh, sorry about the quality of my drawing. It was quite awkward to get there. And then we've got we've got the one that'll well, let me draw the dots so we can see what they are. I'm just going to. Um, that's kind of rough. Sorry about the rough drawing there and that's on these vertices here are there any others that we're missing apart from the big one on the outside whoopsie that is actually supposed to be horizontal there we go what well, matt and then the other thing you can establish there is is um what the length is between that and that versus the length between that and that. So are they the same? Are they different? One, two, three, four, two, three, four, four, one, two. So, and for each one, so for the three by three, this is how you can actually plot it. The three by three, you've got four, one, and one, a total of you could put up here a total of six so you can or, or write, write down here at the bottom a total of six the next one do another column you'd have a four by four and you write down however many of the units let's say that, that's a, a little square unit because that's the, what you get between the, the minimum distance between the dots the smallest square that you can have so it's, we're going to call it one square unit so how many of those how many of those how many of those how many of those and Oh, oh, we missed one. We missed one out. So I was going to be quite systematic and I wasn't systematic. We missed out the, we'll just put that one in and then we'll put the bigger one in as well. Purple one, make it purple. So we've got that. And then we're going to, we're going to figure out, is there, are there any others? Are there any other shapes within that one? And have I have we have we found them all? So that basically goes down across two, down two, across one, across two, up one, up two, across one. So that makes sure we get the size, we know exactly what size we're talking about, and this is the four by four. Okay, and then how many are there of each? Satisfy yourself that we've got them all. Put your total on. You haven't got that down there. Put your total on and keep going. So what you'll find though is you'll find a pattern. That's what we're looking for. We're always looking for a pattern. We're always looking for a way to predict the. Um, so you can you can come up with ideas for yourself, and um, and postulate. I think is the right word you postulate and come up with different ideas have conversations about it maybe make a poster and that poster could you can um have with lots of blanks on it you can, can keep adding to the poster and what you're doing is you're, you're thinking you're visualizing you're you're being mathematical you're being very mathematical if you build a desire to actually get the answers to this and then we'll find out tomorrow what other maths we're doing in the process so that's the last session each hopefully each session has been a little bit different to give you a slightly different flavor and um let me see hello barbara and hello loudis um to give you a slightly different flavor and if you do like our sessions please do Subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's Bubbly Maths YouTube channel and the Maths Toys YouTube channel. The links are in the announcements above. And please do share these lives and uh, make, if you, if you like what we're doing, please leave a recommendation on the Bubbly Maths 
um, page and also if you um, can like if you want to tell your friends about these lives and what we're doing on this group which is to help um, families at home and just basically help with learning maths at home and that this is now that we start it we're not going to finish it will to be an ongoing thing um, and that's about it for today so thank you for joining me and let me see if we've got any yeah that's what we've got everybody in thank you for joining me and tomorrow morning at nine there'll be the the session where we look more into the maths i've already introduced you a little bit here of how to find all the squares or give you a little bit of a starter on finding all the squares and then of course what, what i didn't say is you go to the next size up of course the five by five and you can use dotted paper or squared paper for this. You don't have to be like me and go freehand. It's just that for the for the for, for this purpose of presenting it in this way, the, the whiteboard is really helpful. So yeah, so we'll do that at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Ten o'clock tomorrow morning we'll have a live for early years. So that will be based on squares. Squares is the theme at the moment. And then on Tuesday we're gonna we're gonna finish up the squares and triangles, which we started. I think it was Thursday. I don't even know. It might have been in Wednesday. Squares and triangles, um, tilted squares, and otherwise. We're gonna bring it all together on Tuesday for some maths, which some of it is high school maths, and some of it is there's always maths that's attainable by the most inexperienced grown up and certainly by some young learners. So that's all going to be. Um, and then of course, we've got the maths for the people that are doing the higher level maths up to up to the age of 18. So, and I enjoy these. So it's, it's 18 is not the limit. <laughs> We'd really like to hear your, your feedback on that and any pictures that you want to send in and any ideas, what your thoughts are, how many squares you think there might be in, in this one here, have, am I right with this one? Have I found all the squares in, where is it? Did I rub it out in that one? Did I find all the squares in that one? Is that complete there? What, what is it? What's the four by four? What would the five by five be? Uh, please feel free to go ahead and, and have a go at that and let us know what your conclusions are. So thank you for joining and we'll see you tomorrow morning, nine o'clock London time, 10 o'clock. South Africa and Western Europe time and Portugal. No, Portugal's the same as us. And the Canaries are the same as us. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good morning, good evening. And let me get this right, actually. I've just remembered something I haven't said. Something I have not said. Let me get this right. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. Happy Eid. Eid Mubarak. Eid is, and the, the, the whole festival is about peace. It's about being in brotherhood and sisterhood with each other. And that really calls to me that we are one world and one people. And it's so wonderful to have people from all over the world coming and being as part of this group. And we're looking forward to the global mass lesson, the global STEAM lesson that we're doing on September the 17th, where we bring, we, so far we've had a maximum of 50,000. We're hoping to really smash that this year because we've got, um, because so many people have been home educating for such a time. We, we're hoping that everyone will be really called to come together to do one lesson on the same day, everywhere in the world on, on September the 17th. So if you want to know more about that, let me know. We will be posting about that nearer the time. Thank you very much. And now get my brain in gear, now that I've lost it again, and I've got to find it again so I can end the live. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.